Half a hour, bro. Haha, <laughs> did I fool you? No, the synchronization is not off. Thank you for all the kind comments about my son, uh, known as Jace Joey. Someone said I should call him Joey, so I've been calling him Joey. And we've definitely been calling him Bubby. <laughs> my wife likes that. Uh, she spent our whole lunch at Arby's reading your comments about about Joey. His name's Jace. I'm, I'm confusing myself now. Uh, anyway, thank you for those comments. And the P.O. Box, well, it is applied for, for those wondering. Go inside a kangaroo patch. Wow. Now this sounds, after that depressing video yesterday about the wildfires and kangaroos and casts. Well, we're going inside a kangaroo pouch because one of you guys said I need to check out baby kangaroos. They said they could be as small as a finger. Guys, let's I should, just... I should have had that comment pulled up. My bad. Um, Actually, one sec. I'm going to pause. Oh, uh, yes. Here it is. Exul Tempus. Might want to look up baby newborn kangaroos. They sm start off pink blind and smaller than your little finger. Uh, honestly, I'm not sure if this video is going to show me a kangaroo that tiny. I might have to look up another one. But this had 10 million views. And it looks super interesting. Going inside the pouch. Ooh. Let's go inside the pouch. I feel like um, that's kind of like, I, I don't know. I feel like I'm, what's the word I'm looking for? Like intruding into this kangaroo's personal space, but oh well. Guys, let's just talk about how strange and interesting kangaroo pouches are. It's as if you've got this extra flab of skin. Like imagine your belly button, but you, you stick your finger in and then your hand in and you can kind of open it up and continue on down. It's warm, it's a little <laughs> bit sweaty, and it produces life. I have a baby carrier that I, that looks something like that when I carry Jake's around. Guys, this is the inside of a kangaroo's pouch and I have never in my life seen it quite like this before. That this is, so cool. is beautiful. Oh my gosh, is that the nipple? So that's why the baby bottles had nipples that long, wow. We've got the Joey. We've got the skin, the, the lining joey. of the walls, the blood vessels. It's cozy, it's warm. There's food on tap because we have the milk ducks and he's even suckling it right now. This I wanna know, do they come in and out? This is like, I've never seen anything they like must. this in my life. So pouches are sweaty. They don't have fur in them. They are like elasticated. The mother has four nipples that produces different types of milk and the different nutrients depending on the development stages of the joey. Oh, I thought he was going to say each nipple has different kinds of milk. Like what the hell's going on in there? So technically the mother can have two joeys suckling on different- Got different flavors, you know, like Dr. Pepper, Coke, Sprite. Different milk nipples at the same time. A little pinky one. Two joeys suckling on different milk mm. nipples at the same time. A little- <gasps> There's a freaking tiny pinky king. one. And like a- Oh my God. On different Look at milk that thing. nipples. That's like a fetus. At the same time. A little- So they give birth to- to that pinky one and like a fully developed that, that must be a super easy birthing process now what is going on here one that's kind of just venturing out into the world i'm just gonna i think it's time to wean him off the off the nipple mom <laughs> that's like a full-grown one that's kind of just venturing out into the world i'm just gonna if you don't mind can I just have a look inside the pouch, minds. please? So it turns she, out if she, you try touch and open the pouches of... I'm gonna turn this down a little. I think it's blowing your guys' eardrums out. Kangaroos that don't actually have a joey. They're not used to that feeling. So it's like someone sticking your finger in a belly button or your ear because <laughs> nobody's ever touched that in a very long time. So it's like, ooh, this is weird. But this lady over here has a joey, so she's used to the opening, closing, that oh, kind of feeling. So she's more willing for us to open it ourselves to kind of have a look in. So Dax, <laughs> why does a kangaroo- I love all the just the sleeping kangaroos. Have a pouch in the first place. Well, let You're me so lazy to that for you. So when the joey is born, that tiny little baby is the size of a jelly bean. Oh my, a jelly bean. It's deaf. It's blind and it's hairless. And it cannot live out here in this crazy, harsh environment. How does it it's even too hot, feed? It's too sunny, it's too cold. So it needs a nice warm place. So when it's born, after 33 days, it goes from its mother's womb into its pouch. 
and that's where it's got all these little milk ducts so it can feed it and provide it milk. So each one of these little nipples that it sucks on constantly, and actually when it's born, it just, it locks on for two months onto one nipple and you cannot take it off. No and this little Joey, way. it stays in the pouch for eight months. So it goes from the- Eight months in the pouch. So it does go, it does just stay in there. Oh my God. The size of a jelly bean to basically the size of a large calf. That's actually brilliant, you know? I mean, if, now, now that I've seen my wife go through pregnancy and birth, like, this looks so much more uh, reasonable. This is very smart. Nature, good job, nature. Or a medium-sized dog. Humans should I have done this. I would say this guy's maybe like six months. You can see the tail sticking out. Mom, I wanna stay here. This warm hotel room is a- it's So weird, I'm so dumb. If I saw that, I would think it was like, well, I'd probably, yeah. You, you know what I would think that was. If, you know, probably first thing, yeah. Amazing, and she's like, get out, you're too fat. And after that, the mom's like, okay, it is time to leave. You are too heavy, you are too fat. Get out of my house. You need to pay your own rent at this stage. It's a nice, safe, warm environment. It's like, it's skin to skin contact. So that's super warm and cozy. And then the actual lining of it produces antibacterial, like a substance. It's kind of funny he says skin to skin because here in America, I don't know if it's the same, you know, all around the world, but in America, they've started when the baby is born to a human, they throw it on the mom's skin, bare chest, immediately for two hours as skin to skin time because it's like bonding. And that protects the joey from viruses and parasites. They literally have their life sorted. For the first eight months, they don't know how lucky they are. It's like having an Airbnb with room service and an Uber all at the same time because they get to go around and they and can stick their head out and just look around. So cool. and smell new stuff when they pop their head out. They I wonder what would happen if it fell out. They've got the life. Guys, to put more emphasis on the power of this pouch, pouch power, how it goes from the size of a jelly bean to a tennis ball and how disgusting it is, there's a video just there of the development stages of that Joey. <laughs> oh, it looks like he's reacting to it. So I'll, I might have to go find out what video he watched and I'll do it myself. So f but you can get, hey, go check out his. I mean, this video is awesome. Go check out Dax and this is super For you cool. hardcore Joey power pouch viewers, <laughs> if you want to check that video out there. I'm hardcore. It's disgusting. I didn't really go into it in this one. Oh my but God. Enjoy. Even just the blurred out version. And if you thought these kangaroos were cool, I'll all right guys, that. I want to show you, like this is going to shock you. There's like a version that is even smaller and cuter and they're called the wallabies. Quokkas. The, wait, 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 what? There's like a version that is even smaller and cuter and they're called quokkas. Quokkas? And what you should do is click <gasps> that corner right there and watch that quokka video. Well, there's multiple quokka videos. Because I thought he was going to say wallaby. <laughs> I still so I still know so little. Is the rest of this video is just me telling you to subscribe and like Quaka. and click that bell notification. But these quokka, mate. These quokkas are going to blow your Crikey, mind. That's so a quokka. The pouches were cool. These happiest animals in the world. They've got even cuter, smaller joeys that are smaller <laughs> than these guys. Like the size of a joey is the size of an adult quokka. This Australia is going to blow your mind. These animals are amazing. If I do need to subscribe to this guy. This is some great, great stuff. Uh, yeah, that was super cute. If you I haven't enjoyed that. that <laughs> and I'm glad I, I did end up seeing the jelly bean. Or the size of a, a little finger. Wow, yeah. Okay. Hey, watching now. Thanks for the comment. And thank you for watching. Um... That was great. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I've been enjoying all the comments and everything, of course, and oh, it, it just means a lot to me. So thank you for watching. Have a fantastic Arvo. And I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully, if you decide to join me here again tomorrow. Well, I'll be here reacting to more maybe quackas. I don't know. Who knows? Okay. <gasps> Goodbye.